When comparing sets of objects using 10 frames, the comparisons may be displayed horizontally or vertically. Students should be exposed to both orientations. As the quantities increase in size, students will compare sets of objects using double 10 frames and comparative language, present pictorial representations, which students will model using counters on double 10 frames. When we compare each set, we can count the amount in each set. However, if we utilize the double 10 frame, we can see that both the red counters and yellow counters have a full 10 frame. The red counters have a full top row on the second 10 frame. The yellow counters do not fill the top row on the second 10 frame. Using comparative language, we can say that there are more red counters than yellow counters. There are fewer yellow counters than red counters. The set of 15 counters is greater than the set of 13 counters. Or the set of 13 counters is less than the set of 15 counters. This same approach is utilized when we compare three sets of objects. Once again, the double 10 frames allow students to visually make comparisons. Some students may recognize that only the set of blue linking cubes has a full 10 frame, so it has the most. Some students may recognize that only the set of red linking cubes has less than one row of a 10 frame filled in, so it has the fewest linking cubes. Some students may recognize that there are more green linking cubes than red linking cubes because there is a full row of green linking cubes with two more. Some students may recognize that there are fewer green linking cubes than blue because the 10 frame is not completely filled. Continue making comparisons using the actual quantities contained in each set. If we compare the blue fish to the red fish, the set of 12 blue linking cubes is greater than the set of four red linking cubes, etc.